I thought maybe she was sick or a wing swept lift or something. But she would like fly in my bedroom and she'd fly around. So she could fly, you know. She just decided to stick around. I just felt comfortable with her. Like I knew she was there. You're here. I'm here. It's cool, you know. We got something cool going here. So I'm going down the stairs and I see at the bottom of the staircase there's a butterfly there. There's a butterfly that's flying around. It's trapped inside, you know, because the door is closed. So I pick her up, I place her on my shoulder. I couldn't really feel her because she doesn't weigh anything, but I felt that really a special connection, that bond. I go outside and I start biking. I figured I'd give her a little push start. I figured she could like fly away. But no man, she stayed on me like the entire ride from Brooklyn, bedside, all the way to Manhattan. And she stayed on me with the wind and everything. She didn't fly away, she didn't fall, right? She just stuck right there. It was crazy. So then I get to Manhattan. She's still on me. And I'm like, wow, this is pretty crazy. So I'm playing around with her, she's on my finger. And then I had to go to class. So I, I just bring all the class with me. I have her literally on my notebook and on my pen while I'm writing, taking notes. So then after that, I just kept her and we literally went everywhere together. After a couple days, I felt the security of like, I knew she wasn't going to leave me. Nobody actually notices that I have a butterfly on my shoulder. That was pushing the limits. I wanted to see how far she would go. I would just keep her on me and see how many things I could do. Put her on my towels, right by the pool, she was just watching. <laughs> I tried to offer her the most comfortable life I could give her. I even made her a little home at my place. I would place her there, and then she would fly to my pillow. And I slept with her there. She would look at me, we would acknowledge each other. I could see her looking at me, and it was a blind stare, you know, each other like looking around. I felt like there was definitely a connection there. Ah, oh, man, that was a blow, man. Was, when I heard my roommate on the phone, I was like, no, dude. They only lived like two weeks, and she stayed with me for five days, so that was a pretty good chunk of her lifespan, I'd say. Those were some very special five days. Let me tell you, it felt a lot longer.